Hey everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in to Dragonfly Bees Resale. Today's video is um, statement necklaces. Yeah, statement jewelry basically refers to necklaces, earrings, rings, bracelets, any jewelry pieces that are typically uh, large and um, grab attention so they're eye-catchy. That is what we call statement jewelry. So, I have several necklaces I wanted to show and sell today. And I'm going to begin with these two. These two necklaces that I have on display are basically bubble bib necklaces. They became popular, whoa, let me think about this, 2007, maybe even... Yeah, 2007, 2008, maybe. Um, J. Crew, Banana Republic, they all made versions of it. And these two are very, very, in fact, they're exact replicas of J. Crew bib bubble necklaces. They were featured in um, Vogue magazine. It was really a hot trend. They were colorful, they were fun, they were big and bold and um, bubbly. <laughs> so we have these two and um, the first one is this aqua color. So let's um, put this out of the way for a second. This one is a nice aqua color. Gold tone Rolo chain. As you can see, there is a lobster claw clasp. This one, I have to say, is in very nice condition. I mean, it even has these preset loops, which makes me think maybe this is a J. Crew, But I'm not really sure. I can't say it is, so I won't. Uh, this here, as you can see, has this extension from the middle bubble. Uh, this here has a 12 inch drop and this extender with the preset loops measures in at two and a half inches. So this way it's 24 inches and you can make it as long as 26 and a half uh, inches long in total. Does that make sense? 12 inch drop, 24 inches, two and a half inch extender, 26 and a half. Yeah, so let me bring you in close now and show you. It's just vibrant. You have these big round acrylic cabochons, bubbles with the hanging round beads that have very pretty end caps. Here's the back of it. Yeah, this looks to be in amazing condition there's no wear and um here's the chain and the chain even looks really nice if you look at bubble necklaces right now the original j crew one they're collectible i mean considering if i say 2007 2008 they're going to be future vintage um so j crew bubble necklaces i mean they can range from i've seen online for uh in fact i see one on shop goodwill bidding at an opening bid of 55 dollars. so let's see how high that goes but i have seen some on uh, ebay and etsy as well as poshmark for as high as uh 150 and, and up so this one here unbranded or Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe it's just missing the J. Crew tag. I, I can't say for sure. This one here, I'm going to say, is going to be item number one. The Aqua Tone Bubble Necklace. Item number one. You know what? Make it 1A. Yeah. Since the other one is similar, that'll be 1B. So let's look at the um, the green one now. Really fun. So the next one, also gold tone, 
this time in this, I don't know, what would you describe this? Spearmint green? Uh, this one here, let's look at this. This chain is has the oval links, smaller than the other one. It has a smaller lobster claw too. And the extender doesn't have the preset loops. This one here it is also a little bit shorter. This has a 11 and a half inch drop. And that extender is three inches long. So that means it's 23 inches long and you can extend it up to 26 inches in total. This one here is also unbranded. Let's take a look at this close up. This needs uh, to be cleaned, but still really fun. Looking at the chain, it's not as um, it's not as bright as the other one. Let's look at the back of this. This one here, yeah, just as clean. So. There's the train. You'll be hearing that sometimes throughout the video. Okay, so we have this one here. This is going to be item number one, B. Next up, I have these three, each one so different. So let's start off with the, the one on the far left. This will be group two, and I'm gonna label these A, B, and C. So let's look at two A. So move that to the side, bring this one. This one has a really hefty, that's like a, like a Cuban chain. It's in a gunmetal tone, filled with, look at this neon color stones in like a neon pink and a neon yellow you have these pink rhinestones you have clear ones you have this pendant you even have the center green one this one here has a lobster claw class i see no brand there is an extender that ends in a nice clear bead this necklace has a nine and a half inch drop and um, so that's 18, no, nine and a half inch drop, 19 inch necklace. The extender is three inches long, so it can go up to 22 inches. So that's a, um, matinee length. Matinee length means it's, um, it's a necklace between 20 to 25 inches long. So this one here, let me bring you in close now. Let the train go. Very unique. You even have these mauve colored faceted teardrops. That green stone is also faceted. You have rhinestones all around. This huge pendant, which is open work. Let's look at the back. Here's the back. It is all gunmetal tone. And it is it is all um, closed. Well, except for these marquee shaped ones, they have the mirrored back. No brand whatsoever that I can see. So, all right, we have this beautiful statement necklace. This one here will be number two, A. Next up is this gorgeous statement necklace with the cobalt blue beads, along with the clear. This one is actually um, dimensional because this pen, this bib portion on the bottom, is kind of domed on the bottom portion of it. This one here is in a very uh, antiqued brass tone. It does have 
this oval chain link, a lobster claw, and extender. This one here has a drop of seven and a half inches, making it a 15 inch necklace. That extend is really long. It measured in at three and a half inches. So this necklace can be as long as 18 and a half. So let's bring you in close. Here you can see that beautiful blue cobalt color in those pear shaped or teardrop shaped beads on top. Then you have these, um, I guess they're leaves, along with the, this center medallion. And then you have these marquee shaped ones on either side. Really pretty design. Then you also have more. These look like grapes with the marquee shaped stones um, on one side of it. You have beautiful cobalt blue faceted rhinestones underneath falling down to this on the bottom really nice uh looking at this i mean it is like an antique brass tone so it's a little darker i guess they're trying to emulate like that j crew look so we have this one here i like this one this one will be item number two b this next statement necklace is um, one of my favorites. Uh, this one here has a lobster claw clasp, the oval link chain. There is some slight wear on the top of this where it normally would be. Uh, this one here is my favorite because if you look at the design, they emulate abalone. See that? So it's this beautiful, I guess, you know, I'm saying it's faux. It's within the bead. And then you have all the clear faceted ones in teardrop shapes, in marquee shapes, in round shapes. It's just mesmerizing. I like this one a lot. This one is a like an antique brass tone. There's no extender on this. The drop is um nine inches so it makes it a 18 inch necklace which is a princess length usually a, a a princess length is um well they say it's 17 to 19 inches but it's usually 18 inches so we have this one here show you once again i love it love it love this one let me show you the back as you can see it is that antique brass tone and each one of these have the mirrored backing and some of them don't like that one in the middle yeah i would say majority of them have mirrored backs but there are a few that do not so this one here let's see bring you in a little okay this one here will be uh number two and the letter c 2c okay next up we have these three necklaces they each have an eight inch drop they each have a three inch extender so they are all 16 inch long necklaces and each one can be extended up to 19 inches long this group is going to be group number three and they will be a a b and c so with that said, let's, look, let's take a look at the first one. The first one is by Loft. Here you can see the chain. This one has a spring ring clasp. And there's a jewelry tag. It says Loft right there. 
looking at this, I believe this is silver tone. It's really hard to see under these lights, but I'm pretty sure. And it has this beautiful faceted teardrop shape motif that makes it look like, um, I guess, a, like a floral design. There's the back of it. The back of it does show somewhere. Uh, it's all open back. So we have this one here. 3A. And this one is by Loft. 3A. The next one is um, similar to a bubble necklace, but instead of round beads, this one has pear shape or teardrop. And then it also has large ovals and a smaller oval. This one here is also in that nice uh, minty green color. Here, if I bring you in close, you can see there is a gold tone setting. This is the chain. This is finished off with the lobster claw clasp. And there's the extender that ends in a gold tone bead. Bib necklace, here's the back of it. This one looks pretty good. I don't see uh, any wear. So we have this one here. This one will be three. B. I guess I could put them in there. The last one, really nice. Two shades of blue. You have the very dark navy blue oval cabs, and then you have the round faceted ones, uh, rhinestones. Right there. Along with round clear ones. This one's a really nice statement necklace. This has a very um, shiny polished gold tone chain. There you can see that extender ends in a bead. So this one here, if I turn it around, you can see there's really nowhere at all. It is open back. This one here. Three. 3C. Okay, a few more. A few more to go. There you go. Next up, I have this necklace. This is by Banana Republic. Uh, as you can see, there is a lobster claw class closure. There is an extender. There's three preset loops on it. This is um, a double rope chain in gold tone holding these beautiful medallions in like a butterscotch color surrounded by clear rhinestones this one here has an eight inch drop it's um 16 inches long the extender can add up to two inches so it can go from 16 to 18 inches let me bring you in close here you can see the gold tone rope chain twisted. There is the jewelry tag with the BR. Here are the components. Really nice soothing color. As you can see, it is surrounded by clear rhinestones as well. And you want to know something? That's something I did not check. Because I'm just realizing this now that these are, they have a high setting with this uh, bezel of clear rhinestones all around. So let me quickly take a look to make sure there's none missing. You can you don't see them when it's um when you're wearing them either. Hmm. That is a, a interesting design. You know, I don't see any. 
I don't see any missing, so I'm hoping, um, I am hoping I am correct. Let me show you the back of this. As you can see, it's all open back. They even have that little point on the back, so it's like a reverse Rivoli. <laughs> um, five round medallions on the bottom. This here, let's look at the chain. Um, is there, is that discoloration? Maybe, maybe this one, or it could be the light, but do you see a discoloration? Maybe a little bit, right? Right here. It's hard to tell. This one here will be, let's see, where are we up to? This is going to be number four by itself. There you go. This next one is one of my favorites. This one here is made by um, Ann Taylor Loft. You know what? I did show a few loft necklaces, and I forgot to mention that um, if you purchase a loft necklace, you will get a, a little uh, pouch with it, either the black velvet ones or this one here, which is kind of like an ultra suede. So, yeah. So that includes this one here. This is by Loft. It is a double strand. I would say a matte gold tone finish. It has that lobster claw. It does have an extender. This one here is also 16 inches, like the one um, I just showed you from Banana Republic. It has a three inch uh, extender. Here's the jewelry tag that says Loft. But this one here is really unique. Why? It has that faux tortoiseshell rings. It has these dangling components, which are glass. It's just a really fun necklace. There you can see, faceted glass pieces. This is like a smoky quartz color. And then you have these faceted, like almost like a saucer. Saucer? Saucer? I can't say it. Saucer shape. You have these silver tone rings that hold everything together. It's just a really cool piece. Here, double strands, eight inch drop, 16 inch necklace, three inch extender. Um, yes. And you know what? This here will be on its own as well. Number five. Next up, this here is also uh, by Loft, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. In fact, all these Loft necklaces that you're seeing, they came from a Shop Goodwill Loft necklace lot. Can you say that fast? And yeah, it, they're pretty much... Um, statement pieces this one here beautiful antique brass tone chain and it's holding these plates slightly curved but what makes this one very interesting is these black pieces are leather and they have rhinestones on them this here looks really new it's on a ribbon but you can easily remove the ribbon and place this on a, um, on a chain. That way you can place a jump ring on it. This here, I guess if I just measure it as is, I, let's see, I did not measure it. As is, the drop is about 16 and a half inches, so give or take 33 inches, but that's because it's tied there. You can shorten it, you can make it longer. It is on a very nice black ribbon. Here you can see the links, they are quite heavy, but let's take a look at the components. They do have a distressed look to it, to the chain and to the components. Here you can see what I mean. And then you have all these little leather strips 
all with faceted prong set rhinestones in them. This is really a cool piece. I think so. So we have this, and this will be item number six. Next up, I have these two um, necklaces. This one here has a gold tone, like a Cuban curb chain, has a lobster claw closure. It does have an extender. The drop on this is eight and a half, so it's a 17 inch necklace. The extender adds three inches to it. As you can see, there's a blue beads, clear, pink and orange. Just a very unusual color combo on this one. This one here will be, well, this group will be seven. And the one on, on the left is 7A. We'll go over the one on the right, and that will be 7B. So let's take a look at this close up. Here you can see the components. Very pretty. Here is the, the chain link. Let's look at the back. Open back, some mirrored back. It looks to be in nice condition. So this one here, 7A. 7B. This one is actually by Banana Republic. This one also has an eight and a half inch drop, making it a um, 17 inch necklace. The extend is a little shorter. It's only two inches long, so it can go from 17 to 19. So let's take a look at this one. This one here made up of these really nice round beads. And then you have the light lemony orange, uh, yellow beads and Look at the faux tortoiseshell ovals that make up the backdrop of those beads that go on top of it. This one here, gold tone, but I do see some, I think, color loss. Very little color loss. This one has a lobster claw closure. There is the jewelry tag with the BR. There's the extender with the little matching yellow bead on the ends. So we have this one here, and this will be 7B. Um, I think um, maybe a couple more to go, maybe three more the most, and then we'll wrap up this show. This next one's actually a J. Crew necklace. In fact, I, I think this is the only one I have. Every J. Crew statement necklace I've had has been sold. This one here is in, I would say, dire condition because I, I do see some color loss on the chain, like right there. And then even on the back, you can see how darkened it got. This one here has a lobster claw clasp. There's the jewelry tag, J. Crew. Even that has wear. I mean, the components, though, are really sweet. You have the amber tone marquee shaped beads along with the clear ones. And then you have that neon, uh, like Nevet in that uh, yellow green tone. So even if it, if it was for components, I mean, it would be great. This here, that's what it looks like on the back side. Open back, some mirrored back pieces. This is a this is a pretty love piece, I have to say. You know what? I didn't even measure. Um, there's no extender on here. Now that I think about it, now that I look at it closer, uh, this one has about a nine inch drop. So you know what? This one here will be number eight, as is. Next up, I found this one. This is really uh, simple, but it's classic, and I think this would go well with uh, with about anything. It has a silver tone chain, lobster claw clasp. There is an extender, but looking at it, it's really nice. You have these very um, unique shapes of faceted black beads, but 
the fun part about it is there's these components filled with pave rhinestones. I think this is quite a nice piece, bib style. Let me measure it. That's one thing I did not do just yet because uh, I stumbled across it. Um, I'm going to say this one here, seven inches maybe. And then you can add three inches to that. So here's the front again. This looks brand new. Here's the back. This here will be number nine. The last piece I want to bring to you is this beautiful necklace. So colorful, beautiful shapes, all different. Let me show you this close up. You have flowers, you have rhinestones, you have acrylic. I'm looking at it close to check for missing stones. And I don't believe I see any. This one here is by Loft. It is um, pretty darkened on the top side. So maybe if you polish it, it'll clean up a bit. As you can see, there is that loop. Here is the jewelry tag, Loft. Here's the opposite side. It, it has a lobster claw. So let's measure it like so to give you a drop on on this and it comes out to close to 10 inches making it a 20 inch necklace that's a great great length and two inch extender so it could be 20 to 22 inches long here you can see the components again Let me show you the opposite side. It is like an antique brass tone. Some completely covered. Other pieces uh, have the middle open. And I do see some wear on this one. So here we have it. This beautiful necklace by I Loft. And this one here wraps up the statement necklace show and sell. This one here will be number 10. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe. The button's right down here and Ring that bell, choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I post new content. And always, um, well, this is July and I will be guesting on other channels. So make sure you check my community page to find out where I'll be this month. And I also plan on doing um, some more live sales uh, next month as, as well until um until my job situation changes and i'm not sure if you knew but i am scheduled for surgery on my knee to uh repair my meniscus <laughs> fun times fun times so if there's anything you would like to purchase all you need to do is email me my email address is dragonflybees at gmail.com instructions to buy are at the end of the video and i also always always include them below in the uh, description box if anything sells i will create a sold list and that will be a pin comment below in the comment section any questions email me in the meantime let me thank you for spending 
this time with me today. I appreciate you all so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.